Hello and welcome back to Redwood Acres. As you can see, AT&T has now gotten to the Laura Mesh uh, devices. They produce this thing called a BlackBerry. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of one, but it's a pretty cool device. The only problem is I can't get it to power up. All right, so all joking aside, this is my old BlackBerry. Yeah, I hold on to things like that. Uh, it doesn't power up anymore. It used to for a long time, even after I stopped using it, but Today, we're looking at the T-Deck, which is the Lily Ghost, one of their newer products. Um, as you can tell, they kind of look similar, right? It's got that, especially the keyboard. But um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the case that I used. Uh, some changes I'm going to make there with a new, newer style or rever revised version of this case. Uh, the use of you know where does something like that come in where you know should you get a t-deck versus a t-beam or uh, a t-echo or uh you know a whiz block or something like that well what are you using it for how are you using it uh kind of will help you make answer those questions and if you're like myself you end up getting them all <laughs> uh so anyways Okay, so before we get into the more boring stuff like breaking the case apart, talking over the details of the case, let's just talk a little quick um, you, reasonings like why you would use something like this. Well, it's got an awesome screen on it, right? I mean, look how big that thing is. It's, um, you know, it's about two, two and a quarter by, but eh, yeah, about, you know, two or one and th uh, one and three quarters. So of an inch inches so uh nice big screen easy to see you use this trackball here in the center to kind of cycle through it's a little touchy so you kind of and i'm not quite sure if you can adjust that yet uh, there's some things i haven't set up on this yet um you're going to notice here this is your volts your battery power i've only got a 1100 milliamp hour battery which we'll show here in a little bit um but it uh it definitely doesn't last all that long it's power hungry you imagine with this big screen and no gps module i'm not actually even sure if you can get a gps module i'm sure you can i would assume you can but uh let's get the glare off that screen um let's go ahead talk uses right well the, the nice thing about having something like this is the fact that one of these requires one of these, right? So this thing is a you know old Android phone. It doesn't doesn't even have cell service. Has no SIM card. I just use it as one of my extra uh, testing phones, so I can have multiple uh, devices set up and I can test things. And then I have an old. Um, Samsung tablet I use you know like this to um, you know to also have as another device for testing well <clears throat> obviously if you're trying to talk to other people you're going to want to give these to them and then have them download the Mestastic app on their phone and start using it well this could easily be it's fairly intuitive um, it could be just handed off to somebody, right? Here, here's one of these. It's already set up on the channel. They don't have to download an app. They don't have to do anything like that. Or you don't want to, um, or you're doing things like I'm doing and you're doing testing and, and you have an extra standalone device. You don't now don't need, sorry, the glare from those lights. Um, you don't need that extra phone to achieve your goals so those are kind of where i see this falls in uh i'm going to tell you right now some of the limitations one battery power seems to be so i'm looking at the a case that's going to be well let's go over the dimensions of this case and of course i will put the file uh, or link to the file down below from the creator so we're looking about uh two and seven eighths wide and about four, four and an eighth. Uh, and then the depth and the thickest part, you're looking about seven eighths. So, but that could all be 
Um, that's going to end up being larger because what don't you see, you don't see an antenna, right? So it's got the, I'm using, it does come with an antenna and it is one of those kind of ribbon style antennas. And once we break it open, I'll show you what I've put in there instead, just because I had one available and it was a little easier to install. So, so real quick on the screws, um, because the print file, or at least when I went to it, I ended up, I didn't find any information on the screws. I didn't find this pack on Amazon. I'll link this below, but they're M2s and these are countersunk. You might want like the pan head style for some of the other applications, but this has worked for me so far. So, okay. So I got the back open now to remove these two panels. You can see, I just use one of the rack wireless style that goes from the IPEX connector. It's just a ribbon style. You're probably not going to get the best range out of one of those, right? Well, I know you're not. Um, the battery is also from Rock Rockland Technologies. This is 1100 milliamp hour battery. That's about all I could get to fit in here. There are some different style batteries, like old phone batteries, like, like one of these. You could you could adapt something like that in there, um, uh, but. Uh, I think what, what we're going to do is we're going to print this other case because it's going to allow us to install an SMA style connector so we can put a better antenna like you know, the one on this T-beam on there. So the speaker right here, it's got a little double-sided adhesive on it. It's normally sitting right here. I had to remove that and get it up over here for the battery to kind of fit down in there properly. So um, we'll keep taking this apart and then I'll just show you the whole device. Okay, so now, you know, obviously you see the the back piece or, you know, and then kind of the front. That's really the main two pieces. Well, there's a different style one that allows for, it looks like a larger battery capacity. It's a little, obviously a little thicker. And then it has a little additional piece out here that will allow you to mount antenna to. So I think we're going to go with that style. Uh, but pretty simple. You can see that it's got the Lily Go... The uh, Laura 32 chip with the S, it's a SX1262, which is pretty common now if, it, if you're getting anything that's produced recently. It is USB-C charged. You have uh, a nice physical on-off switch right here. Uh, you can see right there, that's a physical on-off switch. You have a reset switch over here. Some sort of interface uh, here, I'm not sure what applications this for. Uh, I'll have to do a little bit more reading on it to determine that. There's your IPEX connector, and I'm not seeing a spot for a GPS module, but um, hmm, yeah. And then it's got a SD card reader, and I'm not sure where that might help. Like, it could internally save um, logs and things like that, so that could be useful. So. But the speaker, I'm not seeing a port for any sort of GPS, so that's interesting. Um, especially for a mobile device, I prefer to have a GPS, honestly, because because um, that's kind of the one of the features of Laura, right? Having knowing the location of who you're talking to. So, all right, well, that is pretty much it, guys. Um, I am going to. Print a new case. I'll do some more testing on this. I'm going to use it when I'm doing some of my more or some of my airborne testing here in the near future. And um, I'll let you guys know how that works out. Of course, I'll, you know, demonstrate a little bit more. As I learn more, you got questions, go ahead and throw them down below. Uh, one issue I've also had, forgot to mention that, is flashing it. Um, I'm having issues there. I'm going to try to figure that out. And hopefully post something about it because uh, I couldn't, I didn't seem to be able to find that much online about it. So, uh, if you're interested in what we're doing here, subscribe to the channel. Check out my playlist here in the corner uh, for my lore, other lore mesh communications videos. Check out our website, theravenwoodacres.com. You can connect with us via Telegram, which the link will be down below, along with other social media links if you want to check us out there. Telegram group's got a few members now we've been chatting over there i think it's a great place to kind of offline talk ask questions bounce things off each other uh good collaborations going on there so check that out stay tuned for more see you next time thanks for watching